YouTube, it's the Geeky Minecrafter here, coming at you with episode 17 of our Let's Play Minecraft series. Today we're going to take a look and build um, a, a sorting machine, a sorting room. Now basically, I, I have already begun. Let me show you what I've got done so far. I do have three sides done. Uh, this comes down from upstairs. I'll show you that in just a moment. That's basically my input chest. Uh, now I do have a secondary chest here that's just so I could test the machine while I'm in here. And I am going to show you on camera this last section. I have had a few problems uh, that I've worked out. Uh, I've done three different designs. I tore one of them out and made it like the other one. I've left this one in just in case. Um, and I, I guess that's all we need. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we've got. Um, basically, you know what, let's start upstairs. How about that? So, upstairs we have this input chest. So if I drop something in here, it's going to sort automatically down into the system. And it's going to flow all the way through. All the way down this hopper chain, and it's going to it's going to be evaluated all the way across the board here. Okay, so this center row of hoppers is doing the filtering, see the comparators beside it, and it's flowing this direction. So it will flow all the way around until it finds the one it matches, and then it'll drop into that chest. So I, I did get this video, uh, the how-to from Import SV, and I will leave that uh, link in the, URL in the uh, description down below. So if you want to follow his tutorial, which is pretty straightforward, it's done in creative mode, um, and it's just just the sorting room rather than the let's play, you feel free to look at that. So basically what I did was I stopped on this level and I began hollowing it out all the way around. Now I knew I needed at least five high um, for that original design over there and then I wanted a couple above it so I'd be able to walk around on top if I needed to. Now I've since um, settled on this smaller, not as tall design by going down into the floor. So I didn't, I didn't actually need to take my ceiling up quite so high, but you know, hey, what am I going to do? Now I have put a whole bunch of torches in here because while I was working I was getting all manner of creepers and, and skeletons spawning in on me. That was just no fun. So, I think what we're going to do, let's see, make sure I've got the right, I'm going to go ahead and take out my, uh, my placeholders. This was basically just me showing myself how big things needed to be, how tall, and then I hollowed everything out around it. Now, I didn't grab these, I didn't have any stone with me, and I wanted to replace them. I do have some stone with me now, right? Let's see. Actually, um, most of this I do want to be the, uh, you know, the pathing, I want to be the bricks, uh, so I'll put that down. Now, I've decided to do ten more down this way, and um, I like having a little bit of opening here like this. Uh, this allows me to get in and out. Now, I can extend this one more. It's pretty much, it'll go as long as you want it to go. There's no limits on how far it'll go. But I do think I like having that little entrance way in there. So I think I'm going to start it right here and go this way. So in order to put them right together, you do have to alternate between normal chests and trap chests. So I'm just going to go ahead and start that and put our chests in all the way down. Now it's, I noticed I knocked down some lights, so it's getting kind of dark. I am going to want to fix that before they start spawning in. Uh, let's see, do I have any here? Yep. I knocked a few down. Here we go. Okay, so the first level is chest, as you can see. Now I also did put some stairs on um, and some hoppers, as you can see. Now this last little bit goes on last because I you need to be able to see this middle row of um, hoppers and with that top one on, even standing on one, you can't get to it. So first is the hoppers that are around back. So I'm just shifting 
and poking those into the chest. They're pointed into the chest. Now is that 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. It's not. Missed one. You know what? Let's just go a couple more. It's not like I'm going to run out of things that need to be stored. Good grief. Okay, so that's basically the chain that we want. So all of these point into the chest. This next set of hoppers points down. Um, and so what I found is um, a quick little block, something I can tear up easy. Am I out of wood? Am I out of dirt? No, I have a little bit here. Uh, I have I have burned through a lot of material. Oops. Trying to make this all work. Really? Okay, I might be able to reach it all from there. This needs to be pointing towards this little block. That's why I put the temporary block there. So I'll just I'll just finish that with this. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now it's it's gotten kind of laggy. I added a bunch of stuff in there a few minutes ago. It is uh it is feeding in right now, so it's it's getting a little bit laggy. This is not a place you want to spend time. Uh, when you're, you know, when it's sorting. So you just want to drop it into the chest and then move on. Okay, so all of this row points back towards the chest, and then we're going to get rid of this stuff right here. This next hopper line flows the direction where you want your overflow. And as you can see, I've come out on this one, so I'm going to need to to make these two meet. I'm going to need a couple of temporary blocks to do that. Where'd my cobblestone go? Tell you what, we're not quite ready for these. Let's just get that out of the way for right now. Do our temporary blocks. Okay, so I want this row to feed into this row. So that's this one right here. Right? Yep. Okay, one more. Okay, so basically what's going to happen is I'm going to continue this flow on around. At this point, I'm going to remove the block and turn it and go this way. Now, I do need a temporary block to stop me right down here. Uh, okay, so basically our hopper chain is going to keep going to right here. So, point this in and back up. Oop. Okay, we're getting pretty close. I need this one to turn that corner. Oh, good. Okay. A couple more temporary blocks. Now, we want the hopper to flow from here and here. There we go. Nice long hopper chain uh, that will turn the corner and keep sorting. Okay, let's make sure everybody's pointing the same direction. Yep, that looks good. Okay, so our output chest, our, our overflow, if you will, or you know, when we're done, that's going to land right here. So I'm going to go ahead and put that right here. I'll go ahead and drop some dirt underneath it. Uh, you know, last time I was over here, <laughs> my inventory was full. I couldn't even pick up this uh, iron. Let's go ahead and get that. I have a little bit of room yet, right? I'm sorry, just, you know, my OCD's kicking in. I can't leave that just hanging out there. Okay, I think I am going to go ahead and uh, 
replace some of this with stone. I like that. Okay. Just because I don't like it uh, hanging out there all by itself, you know, I don't have to clear this up. Minecraft uh, doesn't obey the laws of physics, so it's not necessary to go in and uh, fill that in. But I do, uh, I do prefer it. Consider me a <laughs> a like it realistic as it can be kind of gal. Okay, now you know what I should have uh, I should have put the stairs on this side before I put these blocks on. The reason is I find it kind of hard to jump and and get these in the right spot otherwise. Oh, it's gonna make a liar out of me. Now I'm doing this so that the chest will continue to open. I have some stuff flowing through, it looks like. Um, just started dropping in. Uh, these are things that I put in the uh, feed chain, but that I don't have items for just yet. Uh, let me grab this and go get rid of that. Okay, now next, again, I'm anal retentive, so I do like these item frames to be up here and let me know what it is. I am going to go ahead and get those. Um, <coughs> while I'm building it uh, that'll help me you know know what goes where so I do have a few things oops nope do have a few things that I do want to continue uh, with my hopper chain here my, my sorting I have a bunch of wood products but I don't have any stairs uh, right now I'm making those as I need them over on my crafting table but I would like to have some stairs uh, here in my sorter I also need the organics, the dirt, the podzol, the um, the leaves, and a few other of the other things. Now, this particular recipe does call for our filter, which is in here, to be named items. So what I did was I cut a bunch of leaves with my shears, and I took them over to the anvil, and I named them. Now, this means that even if I put this type of leaf in here in the future, it won't intersect these because these have names. Uh, now you can use any item in here that has a name. I just chose the word filter. Where am I? I, I am on. Okay, I was gonna say, where'd that door come from? <laughs> that, that's one of my uh, one of my filters. So let me explain how this works. All of these on this level will have four named items, and then 41 of whatever it is you want to appear in that chest. Now 41, uh, when when it's added to it, it'll flow the remaining items, anything over 41, down into the chest. It'll always keep 41 here. Okay, let's continue with our build here. So I have these items. Now what I have to do is decide what goes in here. Now I do like, um, here I'll just use uh, cobblestone. It's quick and easy to break. Okay, now that, that allows me to get up here and see the item frame so that I can put my items in. Now, I don't think I've gone upstairs and gotten... Uh, no, I haven't. Uh, let's, I tell you what, let's just finish building them and then we'll prime them. Okay, so behind each of these, as you can see from right here, is a series of blocks. Now, I chose granite for this section. I uh, think it looks good. Anything that is a set of bricks tells me there's, you know, there's redstone on it, or you know, I need to not break it. But I also use granite quite a bit, so for me, this just means, you know, another one of those building materials. Okay, once again, it's getting dark back here, so I am going to have to. Oops. gonna have to light it up so we are going three across now you'll notice from that other build it was um, it did go down I'm, I am gonna do that but I'm gonna do it after I get done uh, with this part so okay the block 
right behind this row of hoppers gets a comparator, each one of them pointing this direction. So let's put our comparators back down. This is one for each. This will cause it to fire and do the comparison. Okay. After the comparators, that block goes down and it goes down too. So from right here, down to I'm going to go ahead and knock all four of these out. Where's my uh, torches? I do like doing this as I go. Okay, I think that's uh, is that close? It's not quite. But I tell you what, let's let's go ahead and dig this one down so we know where we're at. Okay, on this row, two down. to across. Okay. Uh, I'm going to leave that for right now. Uh, no, I'm not. Just hardwired. I can't do it. I can't do it. Okay. So again, for redstone, like we do right here, I am going to put uh, bricks. Those are expensive, they're hard to make, so if I've got bricks in here, it's on purpose. Put my bricks in. Okay, starting here. Okay, I need redstone torches right along here. And one of the reasons I don't put the torches, the actual burning torches on the wall behind me, is because it will interfere with the redstone torches. It won't allow it to be on, uh, on that side. Oops, one too many. Okay, so that's uh, block comparator, block, redstone torch. Next is a row of uh, repeaters, and then a row of blocks. So we'll just duplicate that right over here. Okay, drop back down in. Oops, one too many. Guess it's a good thing I have some stone up here. <laughs> Let's go get some more. I think this one's stone, right? Yep. E and W are right there next together. I frequently miss and put that in there. Okay, so this is the row of uh, repeaters. I'm going to put that right there. Pointing into that block. Oops, missed one here, and here. Okay, there is another block that goes right behind it. I am going to use the uh, stone, like I did right over here, right behind it. And then we just layer redstone on all of this. Actually, it's going to need more than that. Okay. These. Okay. Oh, I, I do appear to be missing one extra block right here.
redstone right across here. Okay, so basically, now anything that comes through this hopper chain all the way down, and this is going to be anything that didn't match uh, over here, is going to continue around this corner and begin flowing in here. And then we've got a set of filters here that we need to set up. Okay, so the filters are four named items, and then whatever you want to appear in this chest. That's what I'll put in there. Now, I'm not going to fill this in yet till I get around to the front. I'm just going to put all my filters in. Oops, what just happened? Oh, look, see, I was pointing to the wrong one. you got to be careful. It is the middle one that we're hitting, not this outer one, or not this upper one. Yep. Okay, so this one right here, see my outlines are hit? Okay. Next. Okay, now I can come around the front and standing right up here where I can see this and this, fill this in. Now I don't have everything I need to put in here. Uh, we'll just do the first couple and then I'll go get set up for the next little bit. So I do want dirt in there. Actually, I think, uh, I, think I prefer continuing with the wood items first. So I do want my steps in here. So let's, uh, let's grab some of those least one put it right here that tells me that that's what's in here and then in my in here I'm gonna put all the rest that I have now it's gonna flow down until there's only 41 left and that's fine that's that's what I need let's just throw all of them in here okay we'll watch this until it gets down to 41 show you that's where it's gonna stop so it needs a total of 45 elements so 41 2 3 4 5 okay that's uh, that's the minimum that it needs in order to uh, flow this down. So that one's done. I can technically put this back on top. Okay, next is uh, the next one, the next one all the way down. So I, I'm set up right now to build, not to stock it. Uh, I could do I could do rails. Here, I've got some rails. I'll do let's see I want two different kinds of steps three so we'll do rails right here I do want 42 rails in here and I'm gonna just go ahead and put uh, put the rest manually I mean uh, <laughs> you know why wait for it so that's it. That's the system. It will continue and flow all the way around until it gets down here. Anything that doesn't match is going to wind up in here. So in other words, if I put something like a tool in uh, this input chest, it'll take a while, but it will wind up over here in the output chest, the, the overflow, if you will, the one that doesn't match anything. It sounds like it's raining outside. So it'll take it a little while, but it will wind up right here. Now, I'm not going to wait for it to get over here now, and it'll probably be uh, picked up by one of these other um, items that don't have a filter on it. Uh, as a matter of fact, probably this one, right? Am I missing a filter somewhere? No, maybe it just hasn't had time to make it around. So. Okay, that's the build. Uh, that's the method. This is my uh, sorting room, and uh, it is going to take me a little while to get everything and move it down here. I mean, I have um, I have a lot of stuff, uh, but my storage area up here is just, you know, it's gotten crazy. It's it's hard for me to find it. Um, I, I just needed to be a little bit better organized. I've got stuff in all different chests. And I'll, I'll forget where I put it, and then I'll put it somewhere else. And so uh, I do need to be organized, and a sorting room is the way to do it. So now I will pick everything that I still have up here and move it down. And, and I should just have to run it over here, 
drop it into this chest, and off it'll go. Okay, this is the Geeky Minecrafter. I hope you enjoyed episode 17, the Let's Play Minecraft sorting room that I built. If you did, leave a like below. It only takes a second, and it really does help me and my channel out. So this is the Geeky Minecrafter signing off. Happy mining! Thank you.